These signs, they're posted all along Blanchard Beach and they're warning beachgoers today about the combined sewer overflow. That's a combination of stormwater and wastewater that was discharged into Lake Champlain. Now it happened last night just before midnight. Three million gallons of treated but non disinfected discharge into the lake. Public Works says a computer at the city's wastewater plant didn't work when it was supposed to to activate during that storm. It took 58 minutes to turn those pumps on and officials say the plant is automated overnight and it took that time to have the person on call come in and manually get those pumps going. Now this is the second technical failure from the water treatment plant this season. There have been many, at least five incidents where the wastewater or other overflow has gone into Lake Champlain this year. The Department of Public Works is going to immediately devote every available resource that it has, including hiring outside experts to fully investigate the causes of the recent mechanical discharges and to immediately implement what fixes uh, we are aware of to prevent, to prevent them from happening again. Now, Burlington's Mayor Miro Weinberger also says part of that action plan is a December 1st deadline for the Department of Public Works to present an analysis to the City Council about what needs to be done about this aging infrastructure that contributed to this discharge. Now, the Department of Public Works says they have done E. coli water tests and we should expect those test results early tomorrow morning. In the meantime, they say it's up to beachgoers whether or not they want to swim in the lakes. They're warning them to heed these signs and that if children or someone who might have a medical condition might want to avoid the water. But again, they say it is up to them. We're live in Burlington. Renee Wonderlich, NBC5 News.